Come one, come all to be on the game on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. I'm Jake Volk. Sitting across from me, Brandon Johnson, Dominic Arbolino, and Eric Fischetti. Guys, what's good? Yo, it's a Friday. Friday. It's, it's always good, man. It's always good. Summertime now. Outside. We're out of school. First summer. By the grace of God, we're out of yes, school. And it's yes, uh, brutally hot outside. But it it's is nice. brutal. But it's you know nice. what? It's a good day for golf. It sure is. If I was a golfer, this would be the day where I'd I'm go out to the... i man. I like the way how you're thinking, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? In that golf talk. I'm you. not a golfer, yeah. but I do like mini golf. Yeah, it is fun, though. Mini golf is fun. That's my game. You could work on your putting that way. <laughs> exactly. Or the driving range. Although I'm not a big driving range guy. Driving range. We I... all have to go out there one day. Deal. Yes. Just let me yes, know what sure. day and yes. we'll go out there and I'll Deal. tell you something. Sounds like fun. All right. Cool. Number to call if you have something on your mind is 516-572-7440. And we will start with basketball. The breaking news. Billy King has just been elected mayor of Boston. Oh, God. No, in all seriousness, though, <laughs> he could be. He could be. If he ran, he'd win. If he would run for mayor of Boston, I promise you he'd win. I'm pretty sure that mm. name would make you cringe, though. It does. <laughs> it does. But to be honest with you, I can't get upset over it. I resigned myself to the fact that the Nets were going to do this in July. I can't mm. get upset over it. Jacob. It's just funny to me that... That this team that is so barren of talent mm -hmm. loses the number one pick. We lose Mark Fultz. I'll even take LeVar Ball. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I would get this upset, but I am. This team is barren of talent. And we give the Boston Celtics. A team that's in the Eastern Conference Finals! The first overall pick! Not like we needed it! It's not like we needed it, right? We have Jeremy Lin! We have our point guard! What do we need folks for? What do we need Lonzo Ball for? I'm done with this team! The mm. failed trades for veterans! Losing Damian Lillard for Gerald Wallace! One year! Of Paul Pierce. Not even a full year of Jason Terry. <laughs> Jason One Terry. and a half years of Kevin Garnett. And we get Thaddeus Young, our savior. Thaddeus Young. I didn't think I'd get this upset over it. No, you seem pretty upset. I was man. resigned <laughs> Just a to upset. the fact <laughs> that we were going to do this in July. I knew it. And I've got... Celtic fans going ecstatic. That's, Nick yo. fans are Nick fans are upset because you guys moved down one spot. Because it's we always killed happens. to be you. <laughs> At least you're in the lottery. Yeah, no, no. What do we have? The twenty second overall pick. Mm. Yeah, we have a. We'll, we'll get the next. We'll get the next scrub that the Nets will draft. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the, the next so. Chris McCullough. Oh gosh, oh, I'm done. With this team, I did not think I'd get this upset. I thought I was over it. I know this is going to be a problem today for you. I thought I was over it because watching the lottery, yeah. I wasn't that upset. I honestly wasn't. It was the first intermission of the hockey game, mm. and I had just resigned myself to the fact that the Nets were going to give the Celtics the first overall pick. I knew it. I knew it. I don't know why I thought it would be the fourth overall pick, the third, the second. Of course it was going to be number one. I didn't of think course. That. I honestly didn't think. Of course. Of course the rich get richer. It's just... Of course. What do the Celtics need? They don't need Markel Fultz. No, they don't. They, they have really their backcourt. You know what? In all seriousness, in all seriousness, I could really see the Celtics trading that pick for Jimmy Butler. Oh, yeah. There, or, there was a lot of trade talks. Or Blake Griffin. Okay. I don't see why not. I don't know why they want to call up the Bulls and say, so, is Jimmy Butler still on the table? <laughs> exactly. That would be a perfect piece, man. I can see so it. you don't need another you young could, guy in there. And you could bump Avery Bla Bradley off the bench, too, as well. And, and they might get Gordon Hayward, too. Now, yeah. that would be a super team. Oh Look, that's gosh. what I call a super team right there. You get all those guys, <laughs> okay, that would be a super team. we're not building through the draft. You sign the free agents that are very high-key players, you know what I mean? That would but, be a super team. So my opinion on the draft lottery, I think it's honestly stupid, guys. I mean, you. 
I agree with like, you. Like, how do you give a number one overall seed who has reached the Eastern Conference Finals a number one pick? Well, can I the mean, NBA void that, that, that trade? That was the Nets pick, though. Retroactively, can the NBA that. void that trade? They should. I know they can't. I know they can't. But... <sighs> This was painful. That trade was horrible. <laughs> that was, that yes, was the was. worst trade in NBA <laughs> history. Matter of fact, I mean, come on now. Oh, that like, trade could go down as the worst trade in sports that's history. What I'm saying. I mean, oh, yeah. it, that's very possible. Boston kept getting first round draft picks, and they've come out to be a success. Marcus Smart, who's a good defender. You got Jalen Brown last year, number three. Great play out of Cal. I mean, come on. I mean, how much firepower does the Celtics need? They still can't beat the Cavs, and they I still getting firepower. Say still losing like, come to the on, Cavs. man. But. Honestly, I think um, you got to go Markel Fultz, one. Uh, you get Lonzo Ball, two. And then Josh Jackson, three. I think he's going to be an absolute I would great agree with player. That. So, I, I would agree with that. I mean, I, I know you were saying, Dom, like the Nets gave him a, a first-round pick. But it's just like, it's just not fair. Like, you're no, picking I definitely out of understand. A, uh, it stinks but for the other teams. But, I mean, it's just how it fell out. I mean, I definitely think there should be a different way where I feel like yeah. I don't really like lotteries. Like, oh, I, I am I don't like so lotteries. glad you brought that up because I have an idea that n- I have never seen anyone else propose. And is this a perfect idea? No. Is it better than the lottery? Yes. Okay. My All idea right. is to establish the quote-unquote NBA tanking committee. You get five former players – Five former coaches, five former executives, and five members of the media Mm. in a room together go down the list of non-playoff teams and say, is this team tanking? Were the Heat tanking? Were the Sixers tanking? Were the Nets tanking? Were the Suns tanking? Were the Lakers tanking? And if they say yes, if a majority says yes... You strip them of all their picks. So players and coaches, you mean Hall of Famers you're talking about? Or just, or, or former just like players. former players? Just okay. former players. They could be Hall of Famers. They Can they be them. team representatives? Not actively. Not actively. So like, let's say... Um, like Rod Thorne could be a member. So Shaq could be a member for the Lakers? Shaq could be a member. He's a okay. member of the media. Shaq could okay. be a member. I like that. It's, it's not, different. It's not a perfect idea. I'm not saying it's perfect, but... It's better than – because honestly, as mm-hmm. a Nick fan, I understand why you're upset. You ended up with the ninth overall pick. Eighth. Eighth, eighth overall eighth, pick. The eighth overall pick. You should have gotten the seventh. Yeah, that's what I thought too. And, and this always um, happens, by the way. The Knicks can't even lose right. <laughs> they, they can't because they were supposed to get number seven. I had a crazy scenario because for some reason I had faith. And when you're a Knicks fan, you don't really get a lot of that, Brandon, true or false. Yeah, it's true, man. Because, because, because Walt Frazier was there. I'm thinking, okay, he looks good. He's the best-dressed one there. Uh-huh. And, yeah. you know, for some crazy reason, I thought a couple things were going to happen. I thought they were going to move back, keep number seven, or be number three. And yeah, I thought at least three, too. I mean, I mean we, we did have a, a terrible season. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, but for some reason... Hey, there were Nick first... fans who were saying that you guys would make the playoffs in February. I hate to deal with those idiots. Oh, man. No, uh, in, Not in, you. In fe- <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey me and, to say, I was about to say... Me and Dom saying, was looking at each other like, uh, is he talking about, about him? Say, I remember them. I remember saying that they were close. I don't remember what month that was, but it was before everything hit the fan. I do remember that. You said they were close. They weren't. But you never said that the Knicks would beat the Celtics in a seven-game series. I know who said that. Which was an oh, yeah. actual so conversation I. that I had to have with someone. Yeah, that was kind of crazy. Probably the biggest idiot I've ever had the misfortune of talking to. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of crazy, man. I'm oh not kidding. God. Wow. That guy, oh, man. Hey, I guess that's his um, honest opinion. What, I mean, what else do you want him to say? You should be banned from watching sports. If that's his opinion. <laughs> yeah. I'm not kidding. Oh, my God. I'm seriously not kidding. I, not I felt like, you yeah, know, honestly, like, I felt like, you know, that's kind of. That's know, ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous to say that. That's because absolutely ridiculous. When you look at the Knicks team from this year in the beginning, you know, game over 500, and you come down the stretch in January, losing games to the Sixers. Close down the stretch. Milwaukee close down the stretch. I wasn't and then the season that. just tanked. This is tanked. I mean, that's just unbelievable, and it's not. It's not. It's a disgrace for the New York it fans. It bothered me that the Knicks didn't trade Derrick Rose. Why wouldn't the Knicks have done that? Yeah. I don't even. I th- I honestly th- I didn't see. I saw them trading Derrick Rose, but you know a name that no one really spoke about that I could really see them trading oh. Kyle O'Quinn. Yeah, okay. and I I would have been 
really upset but with that. But the thing is, though, he's on a good contract. And he's he's a good on defender. a very he's on a very good contract, and because Joakim Noah is suspended, what like fifteen games next year because the suspension was already happening. Mm-hmm. Kyle O'Quinn was a better set. Well, obviously, he's a better center than Joakim Noah now because yes, Joakim Noah didn't really see the floor. But he brought energy. He brought passion to the floor, and he was a very good scorer in his time playing. So I would have been more upset with Kyle O'Quinn leaving than probably anybody else. Okay. okay, I could see that. Kylo Quinn, I'm not going to say he's the kind of guy you can build around, but he's a nice piece to have. He's a very nice He's an off off-the-bench player, you know what I mean? Give there me... is a place for defensive centers no, in the NBA. No, of course, NBA. absolutely. Even well, though the NBA is transitioning to more of a point guard league, it's still, you still need you still a need defensive bigs. center. Yeah, you still you need, need someone bigs. who's going to swat balls away when someone's driving to the hoop, especially if he's like five inches shorter than no, you at least. Of course, yeah, absolutely, I agree. At least. And I'll tell you, one team that really got screwed over, the Suns. That was yeah, they that's been the my top issue three. with the lottery. They should have been the second overall pick, and they get the fourth. That really upset me. The magic was cheesing. Didn't that happen to the Knicks and the Porzingis um, pick? It happens all the time. Yeah, because they had them picking four, right? Yeah, Porzingis. because I think the Knicks had the second worst record. Yeah, I that was yeah. I remember that. And then yeah. they ended yep. up being number four. That's what I'm saying, man. This lottery stuff is not good. You know, I like my idea. Seriously, in, in if all that's fairness, the case, they should let the people freaking take out of the. <laughs> let let, let <laughs> me ask your let me fan. ask your honest opinion. Yeah. Do you like my idea of an NBA tanking committee? I like that because if you look at it, it's kind of almost like the college football committee. Yeah. You know, with the championship. Exactly. exactly. I mean, we're not talking about football, but I mean, I feel like, I understand what you're saying. It's the same thing. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I do too, and I've never seen anyone else propose it. I honestly never have. That was a totally original idea I had. I am taking full credit for that. Why not? I mean, and I'm not really a fan of the lottery either. It makes it. Ex- I'm going to say it's exciting it happened, because it happened in the NHL too. The Devils oh. and the Flyers leapfrogging the top three. I oh, can't yeah, catch yeah. a break. And the Avalanche got number four. All my teams are getting screwed over. The Devils. Um. The Devils get Nolan Patrick. Yeah. Yes, that's his name. The Devils Nolan get Patrick. Nolan Patrick to pair alongside Taylor Hall. And maybe Ilya Kovalchuk, too. Yep. Although I hope Kovalchuk goes to the Islanders. Yes. Do they have oh, room, though? I love that. Do they have room? They could make room. Well, it, it's also because of the expansion draft, too, because a lot of money could be left on the table or something like that. I think, um, well, the Islanders can get creative with the cap if they move Hamanek, if they move Sezikis. They've got a lot of high-contract guys that they can move, theoretically. Would, would you be upset with them moving Sezikis? Yes, I would. I would be very upset. He's overpaid. He's too overpaid for he me. Is, yes, I but. like Sezikis. He's a good player. I've had dinner with him. He's a really nice guy. Are you I'm kidding? Not, I've actually had dinner with him. I swear. That's a true story. That's good. And the best I got to do was the best I got to do was meet Matt Martin and Sezikis. You, you actually did had he dinner pay with for him? the bill, Jacob? Or you had to pay it was a charity bill. auction. Oh, nice. Okay. It, it, it was a charity auction, and it was my dad, me, Sezikis, four other people, and Mark Streit. But wow, I was ooh. talking to Sezikis the whole night. That's and and cool. he, he is one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. I like Sezikis a lot. On the ice, he's a good player, but he's overpaid. And he's a fourth-line center. He's making $3 million a year. Yeah. There's no excuse for that. It was a luxury when the Islanders had a good fourth line. But then you don't keep Matt Martin. You keep Sezikis and Clutterbuck, most expensive fourth line in the league. It's not even the best fourth line in the league anymore. I mean, I, I, I see your point. In regards to you being upset if they'd move Sezikis. Casey Sezikis is a really good hockey player. But if it means making room for an Ilya Kovalchuk, I'd do it. Worth it, then. Absolutely worth it. You're listening to Beyond the Game on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. I'm Jacob Volk, and my voice is very raspy. (laughs) Sitting across from me, Brandon Johnson. Get you some water. Dominic Arbolino and Eric Fischetti. No, I'm good. Okay, you know you're me. good. Oh, you, 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 you'll last. Do you remember? Are we doing this again? Do you remember <laughs> the second day of the NFL draft? We were on, and I went off on a rant on ESPN, and I said I wouldn't take a drink of water, yeah, yeah, and you, you didn't. didn't. Yes. I didn't. Your Moe's drink or whatever it was that day. <laughs> it was Mr. Pibb. Mr. Pibb. I Mr. love Pibb. Mr. Root Pibb. Bear. So, do we have to talk about the NBA playoffs? Do we I'm, really? Have besides to? the Spurs potentially losing this game, <laughs> I mean, well, besides it depends that, on what the Kawhi. Kawhi to me, that was not a dirty foul. That was not a yeah, dirty foul. Yeah, that's the one thing no, that I think we have to mention so. because... It was not. I mean, Zaza, 
he's always had his moments. I'm gonna be honest. Like if you ever watch tape of Zaza, he has like really arrogant, selfish moments. But that play, he just took an extra half step, which I didn't think he should have because I've seen big man jump, Jacob, and they they never took a half step like how White he did. White man can jump. It's that, amazing. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so movie. it's just it's just ironic to me. And then the Spurs, you know, were up seventy eight to fifty five in the third quarter in the first game until. 